All right, an intimate story set in Big Sky Country and the latest from the Downton Abbey crew are available for viewing this weekend. And here to review both of them, of course, is film critic Chuck Koplinski. Chuck, great to have you here. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Yeah, so, okay, I, I really like her. She's great. She's great. Haley Lou Richardson, she's, she's one of the young actresses that we have that uh, often goes overlooked because she doesn't, uh, she's not in the big Hollywood films, you know, like that. And she, and, and I was really genuine when I said I love what she does because she picks smart movies. And Montana Story is a smart movie. It's a quiet movie. It's an independent film. And these are the types of things that she's in. And she's, for me, the big draw here. I wish the story were a little better, but it's good enough. She plays a, a young lady named Erin, and Owen Teague, there you see, is her brother, younger brother. Their father is dying. He has suffered a massive stroke, and it's only just a matter of time before he passes away. Owen has been left, or I mean Cal, has been left with picking up the pieces. The farm is in debt, he has to sell the farm, and he also has to, of course, deal with the father dying. The thing that's interesting though is that he's much more concerned about selling the farm than he is about his dad dying and we slowly get the information of what kind of a guy dad really was and why Aaron left and why when she returns she has just this cloud of righteous anger that she brings with her. It's a waiting game. It's a very quiet movie. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more uh, silent moments than there are lines of dialogue. And then this occurs. Mr. T, a horse that was on the farm. He's 25 year old, years old and Cal has decided to have the course, oh, horse euthanized and Aaron says no, that's not going to happen. And that of course becomes the driving force of the film. It, on the surface it's about saving the horse but really it's about these two coming together. Uh, a traumatic incident happened many years ago and they have got to get around to not only forgiving each other but forgiving themselves for things that were said and actions that were taken. I wish that the story were a little bit more original, but these two young actors, uh, Richardson and Teague, they just, uh, as she said, you have that bond. You, you believe they're brothers and sisters. You believe that they have a lot of pain, and that goes a long way in small movies like this. Uh, I, the story was okay, but I really was concerned about those two, and that's what makes Montana's story worth taking a look at. Well, where can people take a look at it? Uh, <clears throat> you can take a look at it through streaming on oh. Amazon. Okay. Uh, and you can get it through Amazon and uh, other streaming services. Okay, let's talk Downton Abbey. I know yes. Grace has not, not I seen it. Not you haven't seen it. I know you I are, know. are a huge <laughs> fan. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Uh, so, are you? Do you watch the show? She's no. never seen no, it. Never You've seen never, it never seen it. Seen it. I, I thought know, you said so that you had seen it. No, I love it. I'm a fan. Well, you can help me then, because I'm looking at my phone. I want to make sure I get all the names right, because okay. there's so many names here. And you know, I've seen one grand total of one movie. I oh, any Chuck. of it. Oh, so there we are. Downton Abbey. There they are. A new era, and this takes place in 1929. And there's a couple of surprises. There have to be a couple of surprises, but of course they can't be too surprising, because we don't want to ruffle too many feathers. But there she is. There's of course Maggie Smith as Violet. One of the big revelations is, is that she has inherited a villa in France. Ooh. Apparently it was left to her by an old boyfriend before what? she was married some wow. six decades before. <laughs> oh boy, she must have. Uh, well, anyway, they uh, inherit the villa and she's too sick to go, so she sends her son and some other people, some servants down to check it out. And Well, needless to say, the uh, family is contesting this. Also, we've got a film crew who comes to downtown Abbey. Uh, they uh, apparently, things are rough all over. Uh, the mistress there, played by Michelle Dockery, what's her name? I don't know. Oh, do I, I thought you said you were with the show. That girl looked Lady brand Mary. new. Oh, yes, yes. Lady okay. Mary. Apparently, they need a new roof on Downton, so they allow the film crew to come in because, of course, they'll be paid to use this location. And, of course, they're all initially dazzled by the movie stars, but then they realize that they're really kind of rude commoners. Who? Oh, How can oh they deal goodness. with such a thing in their, in, inside like this? Uh, there's nothing new here. I mean, this is comfort food. This is the equivalent of a piece of meatloaf and some mashed potatoes. <laughs> and, and I don't mean that as a slam. Okay, you know, okay. you want to, sometimes you want a piece of meatloaf and mashed potatoes because that's what you want. You know exactly what you're going to get. It's comfort food. That's what this movie is. Okay. Well, I will definitely be partaking in the meatloaf You're and mashed potatoes. There you go. So I think it looks great. And we appreciate you coming. Yeah. Right. Sharing all of yeah. these reviews. And if you want more reviews and witty banter, check out the Real Talk with Chuck and Pam YouTube channel for video reviews and segments. Or you can go to their website for links to their weekly podcast. Hopefully, Pam will be back because I know y'all have, yes. have lots to talk about. Yes, she will be back next week. We'll be talking about... Ooh. Okay, now that one. Uh, why did I have a feeling that you I uh, am excited about that one? Yes.